All right, I've just waited till day or nighttime. Clearly, it's nighttime, not daytime. And we're gonna try that Skeletron fight again. Now, the only thing, the only difference is the Ang Shield, which we farmed out in the last episode. So we'll see how this goes. I don't see us making any groundbreaking, like, you know, uh, what's the word? Progress. Okay, that's the word. Okay, I don't see us making any groundbreaking progress. Because, like, we haven't really changed much. All we got was the Ink Shield. But, you never know. It's possible. Who knows? I should start with Rage. But, uh, I, I won't. Because, I mean, we're probably fine without it. We're just gonna stay away from it. Oh, that's hard to do. Well, it's so fast. My god. Like, I don't... I, I don't know how to beat it. I don't know. Like, actually, it's insane. It's so quick. It is crazy. This boss does not care. Does not care. Yeah, these lasers, dude, are doing some work. My god. What is shooting lasers? Is that, is that, oh, it's just the head. So the head is what's shooting the lasers, so, yeah, <laughs> like, I can't deal with those lasers, man. Everything else is fine, but the head? No, I can't. Oh my god. It is insane. I don't know how to beat this. We need our adrenaline. We need this adrenaline. We need it. All right, we have the adrenaline. We'll wait till it goes in its spinning thing, then we're gonna pop it. Okay, that's not too bad. I can't believe I got hit by that laser though. <laughs> that was terrible. All right, now it's now it seems to calm down, to have calmed down a little bit, or maybe I'm just getting used to it. I don't know. Ow, we got hit immediately there. Not good. I wonder if, like, the grav... Would a grav help? Or just use Daedalus? That would make more sense. Although I do like the titanium, like, buff thing. I think I'm dead. Ah. Stop. You're hurting me. Please, Skeletron. Chill, Bubby. <laughs> I think we just want to melt the head. I don't think it's beneficial to go for everything. <laughs> that fight is crazy. I don't understand. I don't understand how we could do that. Like, that is ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right. We should probably look into getting the Cosmolite. Um, frigid bars. Okay. Summons the moon. I mean, we only need the moon for what we're doing. So we can just get that. So souls of night and the frigid bars I don't remember what was seven and what was five I think those were the numbers oh I just I'm so dumb all right okay um get some of that away like the moonlight Oh no, we do need the we do need the other one to reset it to day. And that's like the what? What do you need? Daylight. Hellstone and Souls of Light. Okay, that's easy enough. Please tell me we have Hellstone. I don't want to farm for more Hellstone. Oh my god, we have six. Clutch. <laughs> Alright, Souls of Light. Then we make that and switch it to um Cosmolite. Boom. Probably one of the best, like, items in the game. Most useful. Especially for, like, mech bosses. Like, oh my god, it's so it's so great. So, now we don't have to worry about, like, switching it. And we can just do that. Um, we have the buffs. Should I just give it another go? I don't see what we could improve. In terms of our setup. Maybe we could try, like, a grav. Maybe I can fool around with the grav. 
All right, let's see. Let's see how that does. Oh, we need to make the actual spawning item. Uh, so we don't have any of that, but we can just get the lead. We can get the souls of light and night. And then we can get the bones. And then we can just craft a bunch of them. We're only going to make one for now. Because you never know. We could get it first try here. You never know. Oh god, though. I didn't. I did not expect, like, going into this fight, I did not expect it to be this crazy. I mean, we did okay last time. Big improvement. We got it down to, like, half health. I feel like at the start, we just got to be extremely careful. Like, and not do that. <laughs> Alright, alright, alright. Alright, careful, careful, careful. Yeah, that, that extra laser makes things so much more difficult to dodge. We need to kill that thing. We need to kill it. Oh, chill. Where is it? So it's not too bad. I can get damage in. Yeah, once, once it's just the just the head shooting lasers, then it's okay. Then things are a little bit better. But when it's the both the head and the thing, it's hard to pick out the patterns and like slide through them all. I mean, I'm obviously clearly still having trouble. But you get the point. You get the point. Okay, here it goes again. Oh, it's close. Oh, 76 damage. I'm saying it's so much hits. So many hits. Like, I don't understand. How does one how does one skeletron prime? This is I feel like this has been this has been 100 percent buffed. <laughs> I feel like it's speed, or maybe I'm just doing something wrong, like in terms of my dodging. But I, I don't think circling works, because didn't we really like try that in the first one? Also, those laser hitboxes are forgiving. I forget about that. Like, really forgiving. The, ba the backs of them seem to not really hit you. Alright, use your little thing. There you go. Okay. Yeah, this is just as bad as the last one. No improvement whatsoever. And we took a hit there, too. And a waste to brought this word. Ow. We're gonna get down to like half health consistently. Um Alright, alright. We gotta switch up some reforges. So we need to we need to find out is like just tanking it realistic? Is death mode? Probably not. Or should we just opt for maximum damage output? Which I think is the way we wanna go. Because if we're taking that many hits, we can't tank it. So I think switching everything to like lucky or menacing is ideal. Here we go. I should prepare rage next time. Next attempt, we're preparing rage for sure. Without a doubt. Okay. That laser has zero health on it. And so do so do we. We have we die instantly. I can't. Wow, okay, that's definitely not the way to go. My god. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Skeltron 2 OP boys. Hold up. Let me do some research. I need to see why uh, I'm getting destroyed by this thing. This, like, this, the difficulty jump is insane right now. Okie dokie. Alright, we are back. And I've actually had a little bit of time to practice this fight. I took a little break, came back, practiced some. And now we are ready to get this started. So what I'm going to do is craft another spawning item. And I think, yeah, we'll use this one. And I think, we, no, we need our buffs. Okay. Let's get our buffs. So it was all in our movement, and I think I want to go about doing this. So if this doesn't really help for this, but I'll, I guess I already bought it, so whatever. Um, so basically how this strategy works is I'm going to be using a grav, 
And I'm going to be flying up and then using the grav and then flying down. Kind of like what I did. If you guys remember, this is how I fight Astrum Deus, actually. Uh, it works really well. Um, I think it'll work for Skeletron, too. I've tried it a little bit, but without the grav. Basically, just going in like a upside down V shape and like flying. And that worked. So I'm assuming with a grav, it should work out a little bit better because I can lengthen the amount. But I don't know if I'm going to get as much damage, but it should be safer. So I think I have gotten everything on that part um do that okay we're ready so i'll show you guys exactly what i mean um yeah we should be ready to go so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna buff up then i'm going to i should probably heal actually we're fine okay we'll set it to day set it tonight and we are ready to get this started so three two one okay we're gonna start this way and then we switch to this. Okay. Oh god. Alright, alright. Where are you, buddy? I can't see you. There's too many lasers. Oh god. Yeah, so this is kind of what I was talking about with the whole grav thing. It seemed to work without the grav, just going to V. And like, just traveling uh, diagonally. Which is the problem. I was going too horizontal. And I was making things really difficult to dodge. But this is working wonders, so... Okay. So I got Adrenaline and Rage now. Next time he spins, we're ready to use Adrenaline. Okay, that was a really poor Adrenaline use, but I'm okay with that. Because we haven't really taken many hits, I say, as we take a hit. <laughs> nice. Alright, now we can use Rage. Alright. Not the worst usage of rage, but not the best by any means. Or certain. Ow. Alright, 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 alright. Yeah, this is kind of what I did to fight. Well, this is exactly what I did to fight Astrum Deus when I made that guide. Um, and it seems to work with all these projectiles. Any projectile heavy, like, boss like that, that won't really despawn if. And if, he's, if they're fast, too. This works great. And I completely forgot about that until I started doing that V shape. Also, that V technique I kind of used in the Slime God boss guide way back. That's been a long time, the death mode version. Uh, that's a long time ago, but yeah, I also kind of used it in that. That's the V thing I was talking about. Alright, let's see if we can get Adrenaline again. We're actually doing pretty good on time. We've done a decent amount of damage. I didn't think with the grab I'd be hitting it as much as I am. But luckily, the Icebreaker actually has some decent range to it. So, also, our little uh, Titanium set bonus and the dash are really saving us. Like, we wouldn't be... We'd be taking a lot more hits without them, which is really good for us. So... Oh, oh we, had, we have a drone. We're good. We're good. Okay, that should be a lot of damage. That should be a lot right there. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, now that we, now that I have actually the pattern down, I think the boss isn't too bad. It's just kind of like you just gotta fight it enough to realize how to move and your movement, and then once you got that down, the fights aren't too bad. Luckily, I have more than one grab because that just ran out, I think. Which means we have about like seven times the amount of time we've used up. Okay, all we gotta do is hit the head. So I'm not, I wasn't too worried about killing the uh, laser. In fact, I think it is easier when you kill a laser. Because it does a spinning laser thing anyways. I'm, I'm pretty sure... Like on the wiki it says it doesn't do that. And this thing right here doesn't start until you kill the uh, laser. Prime laser. But it kind of happens before. Maybe... I, th I think it's more frequent. I think that's a thing. But... Okay. We are about to get adrenaline. And I was really slow in that reaction. So... We missed out there. We would have been a lot closer to killing it, for sure. But we're fine. We're fine. Alright, down we go. Come on. Oh god. Yeah, it just required a little bit of practice, I think. And getting used to all this speed. Because with the grab, we actually match its speed while spinning. So that's perfect. 
And it also makes it a lot easier to... And same with the lasers. We actually go as fast as the lasers. So it makes it really easy to... Uh, no, actually, the lasers are slightly faster, as you can see. But it makes it a lot easier to dodge them. And avoid them. Okay, 13k left. Almost have adrenaline again. Almost there. And... Okay, we have it. And we're gonna use it. And... It should die before this runs out. There it is. Okay. Skeletron's been defeated. That wasn't too bad. I just had to figure out how to move, and then it was okay. Look at that little face right there. That little... That little mouth... All right, so Skeletron Prime is dead. We're actually open, gonna open up the treasure bag before we go <laughs> for the episode because um, might as well, right? What have we done? We we kind of just were fighting the boss, right? We didn't really do much else. So I think this is gonna be a shorter episode, like quite a bit shorter, maybe half the length or something. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Thank you all for watching. I don't have time to, and there's nothing really to do in between this and the next boss. So, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know how quick or how long this will be. It's hard to say. But, yeah. We're going to have one more episode before I am back and able to record and look at your comments. So, yeah. Just one more episode. And we are back to normal, basically. So, next up is going to be Brimstone Elemental. And then, after that, we're on Calamitous. And then, Plantera... That is what I'm afraid of. Like, Calamitous and Plantera, that that part of the uh, Calamity playthrough is very difficult. Along with um, Moon Lord's difficult, and then post Moon Lord's, like, all difficult, except for, like, Bumble Burb and stuff. Uh, yeah, so it, it, things are going to get much more difficult from here. But I do thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.